Okay, in this video we're going to put the sine law into practice. And we're going to work on question A here. So what I've done here is I've written the sine law for you up here. And it might look a little funny because there's two equal signs. But in fact, what I do is I only take two parts of it at a time. <clears throat> to use the sine law, what you need to ensure that you have is the following. You have to have at least one matching pair. So if I look in this case, I see that I have 71 degrees and 4 centimeters. So since I have one matching pair, that is a suggestion that I can use the sine law. So the next step is to look at what I'm trying to solve for. And in this case, I'm trying to solve for this value A, which is right here. So if we think about this, we know that this is A and this is angle A. So we know we're going to have A over sine A is equal to, and since I have the information for B, I'm going to use this component. So I'm going to say B over sine B. In order to solve an equation, if we only have one equation, we need to have only one unknown. So I need to be able to fill in three of the four pieces of information. So the four pieces of information are small a, angle a, small b, angle b. So we see that we have angle b and length b, and we need to find length a, so we definitely need to have that. But we don't have is angle a. <clears throat> so the first step in this problem is to find angle a. And we know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So therefore, a is equal to 180 minus 71 degrees minus 53 degrees. Notice that I've included the degree symbol, degree symbol consistently here. Then we get an angle of 56 degrees. So now what I can do is substitute into my formula. So a over sine of 56 degrees is equal to b, which is 4 over sine of 71 degrees. And now we need to isolate for small a. Again, remember, you can think of sine of a number, cos of a number, or tan of a number, like any number, it's in disguise. So this is actually some decimal number, which we know will be less than 1. So I'm going to multiply both sides by sine of 56 degrees to get a is equal to 4 over sine of 77 degrees times sine of 56 degrees. Therefore, a is approximately equal to, and one thing I want to point out here is you should be able to do this in one step on your calculator. So if you're watching this video, I suggest one thing to do is to pause it here and try and work this out in one step. And we get a is approximately equal to 3.4, and what are our units in this case? Centimeters, so it's approximately 3.4 centimeters. Now at this point, a nice thing to do is to ask yourself, does this make sense? And one check with triangles that will give you a clue to if your answer makes sense is remembering that the smallest side is across from the smallest angle, the middle side is across from the middle angle, and the largest side is across from the largest angle. So we know that 71 degrees is the largest angle, so 4 has to be the largest sides, and therefore since A is less than 4, I feel that this is a reasonable answer. I hope that helped.